Good morning. Welcome back to a new adventure, a new video. We're going backpacking for the first time this season. We are heading to the Olympic National Park. We'll be backpacking onto the coast and sleeping on the beach. We got our bags packed last night. Caleb and Catherine are joining me. So it's about 5.30 in the morning right now and we're just gonna pile into the car. First stop's gonna be Port Angeles, so let's go backpacking. Oh God! Olympic National Park Visitor Center here in Port Angeles. We have to stop here and get our permits for our camping spot out on the coast. We're gonna be going to Second Beach. So we got a permit online and we gotta come here and pick it up and register with the rangers and everything. So yeah, if you're ever heading out to the coast, make sure you stop in this visitor center and get your permit. Otherwise you have to come all the way back. So yeah, you don't wanna forget your permit and have to drive back an hour and 20 minutes. They also issue bear cans here if you need a bear can. We already have one, so we're not gonna get one from them. But yeah, we made it here to Port Angeles. We're gonna get our permits from the Rangers and then we'll keep heading west. We got the permit, we got the maps, we're good to go. Next stop might be Forks, the Twilight Town. And then after that it will be Second Beach Trail. Let's keep going west. parking lot now we just got to finish packing up our bags we'll be heading to the beach let's get out there okay we are finally off onto the trail it's about 1 30 now so it took us about seven hours of transit to get to this trailhead. It takes a while to get out here, but this hike to Second Beach is less than a mile, so not too long. So we'll be out on the beach in no time. Yeah. 
Hey, internet fam. It's me, Calf. We're on our walk out to the coast, camp for the night, eat some s'mores, some barbacoa, and ah, um, pack some charcuterie stuff as well. Currently almost there. So I'm gonna hand you off here to some guy we met on the trail. We've been on the trail for quite some time, actually. We've been on the trail for about a quarter mile. <laughs> We're packing this cooler in here with us because Catherine wanted it. Oh, all our snacks. But since it's only a mile hike, we are doing a little bit more luxurious. So it'll be worth it. All right, pause. Oh, God. Now that we're on this beach, this whole beach is kind of first come, first serve. So now we're just scoping it out, trying to find a camping spot for the night. But this beach is huge. It goes all the way down around here. So anywhere in here, we can find a camping spot, hopefully. So we have potentially a spot right here. But Caleb and I are going to walk down the beach a little bit further and see if there's any other spots. Because you have to worry about tides. And the tide tonight is supposed to be an 8.6, so it's going to get pretty high. You don't want to set your tent up within the tide line because you wake up in the middle of the night and the ocean will be crashing in on your tent. So we want to make sure we got a good camping spot above the tide line. So we're going to keep going down this beach a little bit and see if we can find something better. Okay, I think we found our home. This little lot right here will be home for the night. It's much higher up on the beach, so it should be above the tide line. We shouldn't have any issues with the water reaching us tonight. Because high tide tonight is at 2.30 in the morning, so that would be miserable if the ocean comes crashing in on your tent 2.30 in the morning, so. But there was a higher tide of 9.1 last night, and this doesn't look like it got touched by that water, so this should be completely fine for an 8.6. Can't beat a view like this. Can't beat that, man. This is awesome. Whoa, let me not fall over and break a leg. This spot even has a nice little fire pit already made for us. This is perfect. All right, you go get Catherine, I'll start setting up. Okay, we got the tents up finally. A little tricky with how windy it is. I'll show you guys. Had to get some logs, stick them on the corners, some rocks, string it down. Got the strings attaching to the logs. Had to kind of jimmy rig it, just keep it sturdy because the wind is blowing hard off the ocean right now. Don't want my tent just to fly up like a trampoline in those tornado videos or something. But the hard part is over, the tent is secure, now we'll just set up the inside with my sleeping mat, sleeping bag and everything.
three pillows. Yep, three pillows. Don't judge me. <laughs> Two for the head and one to hug. <laughs> okay, tent is pretty much set up. Got the sleeping mat, all my pillows, sleeping bag. So I think we're good to go. This will be my view in the morning. Check this out. Doesn't get much better than that. Camp is set up. Now it's time for the chilling to start. Still. <laughs> Got a little charcuterie board. <laughs> and a great view. Perfect cracker to cheese ratio. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. It's messed up, dude. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Prosciutto, copa. Oh yeah, calabresa is this one. Copa and gentile. What's that? Yeah. the equation too. <gasps> Hurt my hip doing that. Get old. We made it to the end of Second Beach. came from all the way down there. It's like a mile or so. Sweet little beach, man. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, I gotta try to time the water to get around this corner without getting my feet wet. Let's see if I can do it. I think my opportunity is coming here pretty soon. Go, 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 go. The tide's going out, so we don't have to worry about it too much, but as long as you time it, it's chilling. I could barely move it. 
much better than this. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and dip our little feetsies in. Beautiful, beautiful evening, man. I can tell. With the clouds right now, too. Hopefully, it's going to be a beautiful sunset. Fire. Can't beat it. All right, it's dinner time. What do we have for dinner, Catherine? Barbacoa tacos. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. Look at that. Woo! I know, this is gonna be good. Okay. There's the tortillas. I want to cook. Taco meat still getting cooked. That's how many people. Here's all the condiments. This is perfection. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do I think? Man, I mean, this is luxury here. <laughs> I think we should have brought more stuff. Yeah, well, it is backpacking after all. taco this is dinner dinner out here on the beach backpacking some beef tacos cheers guys cheers delicious yes we're all filled up now we're just hanging out by this beautiful fire and this beautiful scenery we'll just be hanging out till bedtime now until we get start we forgot the s'mores yeah we uh, left Josh the s'mores did. at home they did not make it into the car somehow so no s'mores tonight but still have beautiful views much better than that. Ooh. We'll just be hanging out the rest of the night and we'll probably see you guys in the morning for a cup of joe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Catherine loves. It's yes. beautiful out here, man. Yes, cannot, right. cannot beat it. You're gonna get a cup of joe in the morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's gonna get a cup of tea because she don't like coffee. She's a psychopath. Yeah. 
one of those. We're home, home. We'll see you guys right early, huh? Guys, good morning. Yeah, I woke up to uh, some cloudy and misty weather this morning, as you can tell. It's a beautiful morning, nonetheless. Got a nice, fresh cup of joe. Caleb's about to make some coffee. Catch has got her flapjacks. It's gonna be a good morning. We need to save at least one half of mine. Of one. For the walk back. And the cup is back. But I want to use this. Where's this one? Alright, Caleb and I have to walk down the beach a ways to a creek because we ran out of water. We gotta go to a fresh water source, filter it through my little Sawyer water filter, and we will refill all our bottles and have some water again to use for coffee and make breakfast. So we'll go on a nice little morning stroll down the beach. <laughs> the creek is a little ways down here, it's probably what? About a quarter mile down this beach, probably, to the creek. Up. So, a little bit of a walk, but it's a beautiful one. Thought I got one. There's a little one right here, but this one isn't flowing that much. There's one down here that's like really flowing. That's kind of what we want. Make sure that it's fast moving water so less 
less likelihood that it's contaminated when it's moving that fast. You don't want to be trying to filter water that's been sit, sitting idle for too long. After about 15 minutes, we got all the water bottles filled up, and then we're gonna fill up the bags as well, bring them back to camp. So now we'll have plenty of water for our coffee, our breakfast, for drinking water. We'll be good for the rest of the day. So we'll head back to camp and uh, just hang out the rest of the morning, man. Just enjoy the views, enjoy the Washington coast. Holy! It's a full-time job running this place. We come bearing water. What? She said it looks like pee. It's got a little tent to it, but it's drinkable. Catherine made some quesadillas this morning. Thank you. That looks incredible. Second cup of Joe on the way. Doesn't get much better than that. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Wow. <laughs> really good. Some leftover cheese, tortilla, and some meat, salami. Tides way down below this rock right now, so it'd be cool to go walk over there and go explore a little bit. We'll probably meander over there after coffee and brekkie. Sick. All right, finish up brekkie coffee now we're gonna go explore these rocks man because the tide is still out the tides really low so all the rocks are exposed we're gonna go check it out <laughs> what <laughs> getting camera shy no. maybe we'll see some starfish or something out here yes we will and mussels oh we should have brought mussels. a bucket Rick. <laughs> My blanket. No. Hey, where are you? I'm at the coast. <laughs> okay. It's currently low tide, and we're going to find some shells. <laughs> okay, we got to save battery. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Battery's dying. This thing is massive when you're up close to it. Look at this thing. This is like the Washington's Haystack Rock, Cannon Beach. Look at all these muscles. These crazy little tunnels in this huge rock. So here we got the tides coming in on this side it's coming on that side all this will be underwater in probably about an hour back to camp we'll probably be packing up soon getting out of here it's almost 11 a.m take us a little while to pack and then we got a four and a half five hour drive back to the city so arguably the worst part about any backpacking trip it's time to pack up we gotta get all this back in the backpack I can out of here. Got the bag all packed up. Campsite is completely clean, as if we were never even here. Bathroom and Caleb are all packed up. Ready to roll. Ready to go. Now it's time just to hike on out of here and get home. Bye campsite. Thanks for having us. Made it back to the car. It is now time to head home. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Deuces.